performance, instruments of divine judgment. Oh, way they know who we are, we let them know, because their leaders aren't going to let them know. They try to keep it hidden, don't you see? Ah, uh, baby, I'm going to pull it on out. I had to make sure my people got it first. Now that I'm satisfied that we have it first. Oh, uh, glory, hallelujah. So now you can say, remember your heritage. This is our inheritance, Yahweh's protection. Be not afraid of the devil. He's nothing but an old devil. That's his name. Afraid for what? He's nothing but a devil. And remember, Yahweh took us, took direct action. He stretched out his own arm. Let's check it out now. He laid plagues on him. He used his power, and he had he used direct action to remember. Yeah, you thought you were reading history a while ago. You were so dead. It's like, yeah, oh, ancient history. Oh, ancient, I'm reading this like it ain't even applying to me. And so, I, mean, how can, I know you were sitting here too dead. To, you were acting too dead to understand what was being said here. To do you well to remember back in history. Why would he refer up our mind back to Pharaoh? Because the conditions would be the same. So Yahweh is telling us, as I handle that condition in the past, so shall I handle this condition in the present. I'm with you. Don't be afraid of them. Now let's go down to verse 19 and get a new understanding. Now I had to read it several times and I saw you kept overlooking something. Let me see if you can pick this out. <laughs> verse 19, read. The great temptations which thine eyes saw and the signs and the wonders and the mighty hand. Your eyes saw this. We were there. This is not talking about those people. We way up here in the future, but you and I, we were back then. We've been born again into the now, but we are the ones who were back then, not somebody else. We were there. Your eyes saw it. You can't make Yahweh no liar, don't you see this? He said, your eyes saw it. Your eyes, not your people's eyes. Oh, 
Republicans have Election Day. This is that great day that I've been getting you ready for. This is that great day. Your eyes saw it. Your eyes saw it. I know what I'm talking about. Your eyes saw it. Your Don't you see you're not dead? You that can understand this and can see this. See, you are blessed of Yahweh. If you believe your eyes saw it like Yahweh wrote it down and say you saw it, then you blessed the Yahweh to believe what he said. Praise Yahweh. He is not a man that he should lie. Yahweh wrote it down in a book. Before you were born, he wrote it down in a book. Before you came to America, he wrote it down in a book. Say you would be brought to this land. Before you were born and brought here, he said you would be brought here. And he said, your sentence is 400 years. And after 400 years, he said, I will judge them. I'll be there myself and judge that nation who you serve. I will be there. I'll be there, Abraham. Don't worry, Abraham. They'll be there, but I'll be there too. Revelation says that the elders were gathered around. And Yahweh let him look down, let them look down into the future. And they saw our dead condition. They saw us buried. They saw no hope whatsoever. And they began to cry. And then one said, fear not. Don't worry. There's one. The Lamb will rise up and prevail to open up the book and save them. Don't worry. He'll loose the seven seals. He'll loose the seals of their mind so they'll remember and be able to look back and say, yes, my eyes saw it. I saw it myself. I was there. Yes, I'm resurrected now. <laughs> and I'm not going to die no more. Don't you see breaking Yahweh's laws is death? Yeah. Keeping his laws is life forever. Don't you see it? You are here. You saw that? Now you're a witness. You see that? Don't be afraid of no devil. You just remember what I did to Pharaoh in Egypt. That's what you remember. How many get your memory back? That's what waking up is all about. So you can remember. Let's go back to 19. This, this is powerful. Don't read this like a dead man. Let's wake up. <laughs> See, it's all in the Word. It's not in the feeling. It's in the Word. And the Word gives you the feeling. <laughs> We jump it up and shout and rejoice because of the word. The spirit of the Lord Yahweh, he put it in us, then we rejoice over the word that is within us. That's what it's about. I shall not be afraid of them, but thou should well remember what the Lord your God, Yahweh, did to Pharaoh and unto all Egypt. Same God. Verse 19, read. The great temptations which thine eyes saw. Check it out now. You saw it in the past. All right, now let's go on. And the signs and the wonders and the mighty hand and the stretched out arm whereby the Lord Yahweh, thy God, brought thee out. So shall the Lord Yahweh, thy God, do unto all the people of whom thou Art afraid of whom you are afraid now see we want out of America y'all always say well don't sweat it I brought you out of Egypt I'm gonna bring you out today as I brought you out of Egypt I'm going to bring you out of America as I brought you, remember, as I brought you out of Egypt, the same way I brought you out of Egypt, 
I'm going to bring you out of a minute. I'm going to do to these people, all of them, of whom you are afraid. Verse 20. Read. Moreover, the Lord Yahweh thy God <coughs> will send the hornet among them until they that are left and hide themselves from thee be destroyed. People are going to hide from us. Yahweh said he will send something among them. Whatever that hornet is, what is a hornet? Like bees, something's going to sting them bad. Now look up hornet. Let's, we might get a clue. Something's going to sting these devils. And it's going to kill them evidently because of those that are left. But it, it looks like it's going to kill the enemy and not fight up. Looks like the hornet is going to get them and not get up. Yahweh has all kind of army. <laughs> Read, hornet. Hornet, any of various large stinging wasps, chiefly of the genera and vestula, characteristically building a large papery nest. Read. Something large. Yes. Not quite as large as the bubble. Yes. I've seen those bad boys. When you hit you, you fall. When a heart it hits you, you hit the ground. An insect larger and fiercer than the wasp. More fierce. <laughs> Real big fierce. Stuff. Wasp, white Anglo now, Saxon Protestant. By Wait definition. A what you want me to think? What you want me to believe is that Yahweh has the power to out of nowhere, seemingly, bring up an insect, hunted insect that's more fierce than any bee on earth. <laughs> killer bee. He can bring up killer bees. Mm. I heard the only way here anyway. To kill a bee. I haven't heard it. I don't know whether that's the heart of another. Kill a bee, they call them African bee, mingle with the other bee, and they already reach Cuba head this oh, way. They're huge. And they just swarm and kill. You don't even have to provoke them. They just <laughs> Now what you want me to believe is that Yahweh can use hearted insect bees to kill as his army. He can raise them up as an army and put inside them who to kill. It says, of those that are left, they'll hide themselves from us. You mean the devil's gun, he won't be able to shoot those bees down. They'll wish they were dead. Now, wait a minute. You mean Yahweh can raise up insects to get this devil? You mean, you mean uh, it's own judgment on America? You don't see those, uh, you thought they were roaches. I never did tell you they were roaches. This picture might be those hornets. Yahweh promised the mighty birds to come against this devil. You mean he can do that? You mean we can just let Yahweh do his number? Don't be afraid. Yahweh said, don't be afraid. He's going to do his number. And they're going to get these among them. And then there'll be some left. Means he's going to wipe out some. A plague of hornets. Do you believe Yahweh can do such a thing? <laughs> what I'm trying to figure out is, why will they just get our enemy and don't get us? They're Yahweh's chosen army, huh? Yahweh fixed them out. They want to us. <laughs> They know who they want. 
saying that they love devil meat. Oh, 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 come up here to the microphone. She has found in the Bible where it says what the hornets are. My Bible says that the hornets are God's agents. <laughs> Her Bible says hornets are God's agents. Let's put a red mark down here for this. See, it does good to do research. Something as important as getting rid of my enemies, see, I have to want to deal with that. Oh, excuse me as I get back on with this. Let's look at uh, Exodus. 23, verse 27 and 28. Goes together. This is serious business. Read. I will send my fear before thee. Look what Yahweh is in the process of doing right now with his judgment on America article. Look at it. Read on. And will destroy all the people to whom thou shalt come. Uh-oh. Look at this. Huh? He might destroy them. Come on. And I will make all thine enemies turn their backs unto thee. They're not going to try to face us and fight us. And come on. And I will send hornets before thee, which shall drive out the Hivite, the Canaanite, and the Hittite from before thee. You got them all, huh? Yes, baby. Documented in Harper Collins Bible Dictionary, revised and updated. Copyright 1989 on page 391. Hornets were known for having an especially painful sting that would continue to be felt for several days. Indeed, the Hebrew term for hornet, sirha, also means depression. Yes. Ha, 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 ha.